Hi everybody! Welcome to Storytime. My name is Allison. Are we ready to get started? Well, can I see your hands? Let's say hello to each other and let's get our beat. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello! Good. <laughs> hands again. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. <laughs> hands again. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hands again, bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. <laughs> Hands again, bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Say hello as soft as we can. Hello. Very nice. Well, let me get out my magic hat so we can figure out what kind of stories we're doing today. Hmm, I wonder what we have. You ready for my trick? I'm the best magician. I can pull anything out of this hat. Abracadabra. What? What is that? Ketchup? Do you guys think we're doing ketchup stories today? Mmm, mmm. That doesn't seem right. Hmm. Let me try my trick again. You ready? I'm the best magician. I can pull anything out of this hat. Abracadabra! What? What is that? A rubber ducky? Do you guys think we're doing rubber ducky stories today? Mmm, mmm. That doesn't seem right either. Hmm. Let me try my trick again. Will you help me this time? I'm the best magician. I can pull anything out of this hat. Abracadabra! <gasps> yes! Would you look at... Whew! That's... Let's see, what do we have here? <gasps> We have a rainbow of colors because we are doing rainbow stories today. Woohoo! All kinds of stories about rainbows. So we'll see this a little bit later in our program. But for now, let's take a look at our alphabet. Hmm. Do you guys see a letter missing today? This is covered up. There we go. Hmm. Let's look for our missing letter. Hmm. Do you see it anywhere? Oh, I see it. I see it right here. The missing letter for today is R. R for rainbow. Let's sing our ABCs all together. Are you ready? Let's sing on one, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? 
Very nice. Great singing, you guys. Let me flip this around so we have our felt board for today. There we go. That looks pretty nice. And then we will go to our first rainbow story today, which is this book here called My Rainbow by Trinity and Deshana Neal. Trinity and her siblings played in the warm morning sunlight. Trinity stroked Peter Porker's long mane. She loved soft things, just like many kids with autism, and Peter's hair was perfect. Music sang from Lucian's cello, enveloping the room in tranquility and making it feel safe. Wow, look at these illustrations. Let's play, Trin, Hyperion said. Their sparkly shirt glittered like stars. Sometimes Trinity and Hyperion's dolls were video gamers. Sometimes they were astronauts. Little Thane's toy was a hot dog this time. Their dolls could be anything, just like mom said they could. Trinity stayed with her doll long after everyone found other things to do. She stared at its long curly hair and beautiful dark skin. She touched her own short hair. What's the matter, baby? Mom asked. Trinity blew out a gust of breath in frustration. I can't be a girl. Oh, Mom said, why is that? Because, because why? Trinity glanced up. I need long hair. Well, girls can have short hair, see? Mom ran a hand over her short black hair. I'm a girl too. Trinity's frown only deepened. I don't think you understand, Mom. I'm a transgender girl. Mom blinked with surprise. Trinity's gender was part of what made her a masterpiece, just like her autism and her black skin. But Trinity was trying to tell her something important. Mom closed her laptop and sat down next to Trinity and said, I'm listening. Trinity let out a big breath as if she'd been holding it in forever. People don't care if cisgender girls like you have short hair, but it's different for transgender girls. I need long hair. Mom thought for a long moment. Hmm, you're right. It is different for me. She peered at each of her children. We are all a little different from one another. You are a beautiful rainbow, Trinity. But Trinity said, I don't feel like a rainbow right now. Mom knew Trinity struggled to grow her hair long. She hated how it made her itchy when it was growing out. But Trinity knew herself best of all. And if she said she needed long hair, she needed long hair. With a sigh, Trinity picked up a pink comb and began smoothing her doll's hair. <clears throat> When dad came home from work, mom was still thinking about what Trinity had said. I have to make things right, mom said, but how? I don't know, dad said. Mom didn't know either. Lucian peeked around the corner. I think I can help. Mom grabbed her purse. Lucian led her across the street to the beauty store. There were so many choices. That one's too long, Lucian said. Trinity doesn't like her hair touching her neck. And that one's too straight, Mom said next. She's a beautiful black girl and her curly hair is already perfect. None of these feel right. She sighed. Lucian thought hard. Then he said, I know what we need. Trinity needs her own rainbow. That night, as all her children slept, Mom sat down with her laptop, a hair needle, thread, and a wig cap. She had never made a wig before. She threaded the hair into the cap like the online video showed. She sewed late into the night, weaving love into every row. The wig had to be just right for Trinity. She poked herself with the needle a few times, got the thread tangled in the curls, and had to chase Peter when he snatched a strand of curly purple hair. 
but she weaved and weaved until the clock struck 3 a.m. She finally dozed off, hoping her daughter would love it. Mom awoke to the sound of sniffling and sobbing. She gasped. Trinity was crying. Mom dashed to the bathroom. The wig was big and fluffy on Trinity's head. The springy, curly, teal blue, dark pink, and purple hair that Lucian had chosen lit up the whole room. Trinity's eyes sparkled. She was crying tears of joy. She ran her fingers through the curls. It's me, Mom. My hair has finally come. It's my rainbow. Lucian bounded into the bathroom with the rest of the family behind him to see Trinity's reaction. Thank you, Trinity said. I love my rainbow. And we love you, my heart. The end. Very nice. Great listening, you guys. Let's see, can I see your hands? Stretch them up, stretch them down. Stretch them up, down, up, down, up. Woo, <laughs> so, ooh, stretch them out. Stretch them in, ee! Stretch them out, ooh. Stretch them in, ee! Stretch them out, ooh. Stretch to the side. Stretch to the other side. Bring them around town. Stretch them out. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Stretch them down. Stretch them up, tall. Stretch them down, small. Stretch them up, tall. Stretch them down, small. Stretch them up and up and back and back, whoa. Stretch them forward, flip them over, close your hands and follow me. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth. Bleh! <laughs> but do not let them in. Whoop. Open, shut them open shut them to your shoulders fly 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 higher 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 high like birds in the sky falling falling slowly fall like raindrops to the ground quickly pick them up again and turn them round and round <gasps> Faster, 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 faster still. Faster, 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 faster still. Faster, 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 faster still. Faster, faster, faster. And slowly slow them down. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Very nice, great job. Let's see, for our next rainbow story, we are going to read this book called Rainbow. Rainbows. Every color means something. Red means life. Orange is healing. Yellow is sunlight. Green is nature. Blue is harmony. <laughs> Violet is spirit. Everyone 
loves rainbows. Rainbows make the world smile. Rainbows sing out, be happy, be love, and be proud. Rainbows are so colorful and beautiful, nature's way of smiling at us all. Rainbow flags are happy too. They celebrate love, hope, diversity, and acceptance. Waving the flag says, this is who I am and I stand proud. Rainbow. Very nice listening. Good job, you guys. Let's see, let me grab our rainbow wand. We are going to sing our rainbow song. I think we sang this a few months ago in story time together. If you wanna grab something to wave, you could grab a scarf or a handkerchief, a shirt, um, anything that's sort of flowy, or you can just wave your hands back and forth when we do the rainbow part. All right, let's sing our song. Well, the grass outside my window is green as green can be. Fiddly D outside my window. The grass is green as green can be. You ready? Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow around me. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow around me. Very nice. Let's do blue next. Well, the sky outside my window is blue as blue can be. Fiddly D outside my window. The sky is blue as blue can be. You ready? Ooh. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow around me. Rainbow, rainbow rainbow around me. Very nice. Let's see. What color next? Let's do yellow. Well, the sun outside my window is as yellow as yellow can be. Fiddly D outside my window. The sun is yellow as yellow can be. You ready? Rainbow, rainbow, Rainbow around me, rainbow, rainbow, rainbow around me. Very nice. Let's see, let's do purple next. Well, the flowers outside my window are as purple as purple can be. Fiddly D outside my window. The flowers are purple as purple can be. You ready? Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow around me. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow around me. All right, last time. Well, the people outside my window are as happy as happy can be. Fiddly D outside my window. The people are happy as happy can be. You ready? Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow around me. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow around me. Good. Give it one more nice shake. Woohoo! Very nice. Good job, everybody. Very nice. Let's see. Can I see your hands? These are my fingers. They all belong to me. I can make them do things. Do you want to see? I can wiggle them high. I can wiggle them low. I can fold them together and hold them just so. I can squeeze them together. I can open them wide. I can fold them together. I can make them all hide. Whoop! I can wiggle them high. I can wiggle them low. 
I can fold them together and hold them just so. Let's put our hands together and do our deep breaths. You ready? Deep breath in and out. Very nice. One more time. Hands together, deep breath in and out. Very good. Well, our last story comes from this book here. It's called The Big Orange Splat, and it is one of my favorite stories to tell. There we go. All right. Once upon a time, there was a man named Mr. Plumbean. Mr. Plumbean lived on a very neat street, and all of the houses were exactly the same. There we go. All of the houses lined up in a row and each one was the same. But one day, a seagull flew over Mr. Plumbean's house. He was holding an orange can of paint. I'll move this down just a little bit so we can see the seagull a little better. There we go. The seagull flew over Mr. Plumbean's house and some of the orange paint flew out of the can and splat! Fl got right on Mr. Plumbean's roof. Mr. Plumbean said, oh no, now I will need to repaint my house. The neighbors agreed. They said, mm -mm. this used to be a very neat street. Now your house is a little different from the others. I know, I know, said Mr. Plumbean, I will paint it. But he didn't paint it at first. Mr. Plumbean spent some time thinking. Then he went to the store. He got some red paint, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, every color he could think of. And that night he got to work. When all of the neighbors woke up the next morning, Mr. Plumbean's house looked a little different. Wow, let me bring it a little closer. Look at how different his house was. It looked like a rainbow. It looked like an explosion. The neighbors said, oh my goodness. Mr. Plumbean, what have you done to your house? This used to be a very neat street. Mr. Plumbean looked at them and said, well, my house is me and I am it. My house is where I like to be and it looks like all my dreams. Oh my, said the neighbors. <sighs> that night, Mr. Plumbean got a saw and some wood and when all the neighbors woke up, there was a rainbow clock tower on the top of Mr. Plumbean's house. Oh my, said the neighbors. Mr. Plumbean, what have you done with your house? This used to be a very neat street. Mr. Plumbean said, well, what can I say? My house is me and I am it. My house is where I love to be and it looks like all my dreams. But. Mr. Plumbean was not done yet. That night, Mr. Plumbean went out and he got palm trees and he planted them in his yard. Then he got a nice big hammock and hung it in between the trees. He also bought a new pet alligator. Do you guys have pet alligators at home? Wow. The alligator lived in Mr. Plumbean's front yard. When the neighbors woke up the next morning and they saw Mr. Plumbean's hammock, his new alligator, his palm trees, and he was sipping lemonade, they said, oh my, Mr. Plumbean, what has happened to your house? Mr. Plumbean said, oh, what can I say? My house is me and I am it. 
my house is where I like to be and it looks like all my dreams. Well, the neighbors were furious. They said this used to be a very neat street and look at this. Someone needs to go talk to that Mr. Plumbean. Well, one of the neighbors from the other houses went to go talk to Mr. Plumbean. The two of them sat underneath the palm trees, drinking lemonade and talking. And the next day, when everyone woke up, that neighbor's house was looking a little different. Oh my. Can you see what his house is now? Here, I'll bring it a little closer. It is now whoop, a ship. Wow, that is very different indeed. Well, when the neighbors saw the neighbor's house, they said, oh no, neighbor, what have you done with your house? This used to be a very neat street. Well, the neighbor said, listen, I talked to Mr. Plumbean and well, what can I say? My house is me and I am it. My house is where I like to be and it looks like all my dreams. Well, one by one, the neighbors of this very neat street would go to talk to Mr. Plumbean. They would sit underneath the palm trees, drinking lemonade and talking. And one by one, all of the houses on this very neat street started to look a little different. Now, whenever someone comes to visit the neighborhood, they say, hmm, this is not a very neat street. But all of the neighbors just smile and say, our street is us and we are it. Our street is where we like to be and it looks like all our dreams. And all of the neighbors and Mr. Plumbean lived happily ever after. Very nice, great listening. Well, let me get my tiger friend out. So we are, believe it or not, at the end of story time. So we can, let's see. When my tiger friend is up in the air, you can just watch him. But when he starts to jump and dance on the board, you'll hear that sound and you can jump up and dance too. You ready? There was a girl from France who didn't know how to dance. The only thing that she could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, never let them freeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Sit down, sit down. There was a teeny tiger man. He loved to do handstands. All right, let's see if he can do it this week. He needs one arm down. Oh, that's pretty good. Two arms down for the handstand. Oh, oh. The only other thing that he could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Woo hee. Knees up, Mother Brown. Woo wee. Knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown, faster! Knees up, Mother Brown, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, knees up, Mother Brown. Very nice. Great job, everybody. Wiggle, wiggle fingers, way up to the sky. Wiggle, wiggle fingers, wave them all goodbye. Very nice, great job. Thank you so much for coming to Storytime today. If you are playing the summer game, make sure you check out the game code down in the description. If you don't know what I'm talking about, but you'd like to learn more, visit play.aadl.org. There's all kinds of information there on playing the super fun summer game. Hope to see you soon. Bye everybody.